Hello and welcome to a sunny day in Victoria Park and welcome to a tour of the Crystal Palace experience. This is a digital augmented reality recreation of the Crystal Palace that used to be in Victoria Park here from about 1860 to 1891. We're just walking through the main gates here along the blue carpet and you'll notice on either side there are panels describing the Crystal Palace. We can see here that this is a partnership of the city of Hamilton and the Hamilton Public Library. And speaking of the city, this is a plaque that actually used to be in Victoria Park about the Crystal Palace. And all along here we'll see other panels. This is about, most of these on the outside here of the Crystal Palace are about life in the park or in the palace grounds at the time. So this is all about baseball, over here we have a map of uh, Hamilton from 1876 and you can see just down here a blow up of this part of the uh, map that shows the Crystal Palace in Victoria Park as it was then. Back then the Victoria Park was much bigger on the palace grounds. And then just beyond here, just around the corner, is this sort of ghostly white pines area and this is the uh, city of Hamilton's indigenous land acknowledgement to say that this Crystal Palace and the land we're standing on now was the, uh, the birthplace and the ownership of the indigenous people of the Hamilton area long before we got here. So we're just going to continue along here and this is uh, an image of the park during a fair day. This was the ho it was host to a provincial fair and then also more local fairs later on in its life. So I'm just going to look at a couple of more panels here. Um, this is about the fireworks that used to go on here, especially like the Queen's Jubilee in 1887. There was a big fireworks show and it was put on for free by this guy, uh, Professor Han, and the Han Company is actually still in operation today. So we're now we're finishing the walk along the blue carpet and we're actually stepping inside the Crystal Palace. There's the octagon above and we can just walk through these as if we were a kind of a ghost. And we can see that we're not alone, that there's other patrons here already taking advantage of the uh, beautiful day. And this is the carpet of history that if we take our time and read along here, we can read about the history of the palace from its early days to its final demise. And there are exhibits on either side of us here. And we're just gonna go into the, uh, the wing here and take a look. And this is really talking about the Crystal Palace as an event space. It, it hosted wonderful banquets. Here's an example of one in the center octagon, which we'll see in a minute. There was also one of the centerpieces of the visit of the Prince of Wales when he opened the exhibit in 1860. And you can see that here, but he went to other places like the waterworks and parades through the city. And so we are seeing uh, a lot of what went on inside and outside the Crystal Palace. This is about the Jubilee singers who actually sang during the Queen's Jubilee outside during those celebrations. Now we're just going to go over to the other wing here. And here we're going to learn about the military history of the Crystal Palace. The Crystal Palace was uh, garrisoned a lot of soldiers uh, during its time. It was a popular place for soldiers to be here to protect us from invasions, possible invasions from the U.S., from, from Athenians. And we know this because of the photographic record we have here of the Crystal Palace, but also from archaeological records. So this pottery, pottery shards, especially the blue ones, may have come from bowls that the soldiers actually used. So we're just going to leave this wing and head over back to the carpet of history. And you notice the spiral staircase was actually a spiral staircase inside leading to the second floor up here. And we're just going to continue along the end of the carpet of history. There's another image of the Crystal Palace on a fine day like today. And these are images of the Crystal Palace through time. So this was sort of a, not a, an imaginative, but certainly a hopeful drawing of what the Crystal Palace might look like by the architect named Hill. And these are other images that we can see in the exhibit. These are later on in the 1880s, 1887, when the Crystal Palace fell into decline. You can see that there are broken windows, and it's kind of sad that the Crystal Palace started off beautifully and ended up being kind of a sad uh, story when it was actually auctioned off in 1891. But there it is in its prime, looking beautiful. And we're just going to turn around now and head back down the carpet of history, looking outside through the glass walls. Outside there, those, those little areas out there would have been garden areas at the time when the Crystal Palace was built. Um, and it really is astonishing that this stood in Hamilton for 
30 odd years and it was just a remarkable example of the kinds of architecture that existed in those days in Hamilton in Victoria Park. Now this isn't exactly in Victoria Park where the Crystal Palace was. That was closer to over here there were the splash pads were um, and the swimming pool is today and the splash pads are today. But this is a part of the park that allows us to look at the Crystal Palace in all its glory. So we're just gonna take one more look um, turning away from the street back out through the exhibit and there it is the Crystal Palace as it would have stood in Victoria Park all those years ago. Thanks for uh, visiting. Thanks for taking this tour of the Crystal Palace with us. Hope you enjoyed it.